Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Fafnir, we're playing the legendary Fafnir, the Juggernaut, because I wanted to spit some bullets at my enemies today and this thing is actually quite good at it. So we are running this wonderful 100 ton mech with four rotary auto cannon twos and also four light machine guns. And that is because this guy has, first of all, a rotary auto cannon two HSL1, so we can fire three at the same time without getting a heat penalty. Uh, sorry, four at the same time without getting a penalty. Normally it's three, so now we have four. Perfect. And we have an inner sphere machine gun range of 50% and a rate of fire of 25% bonus here as well. So with all of the hard points that we have, we're gonna use our rotaries to open up the enemy, shred their armor, and then use the light machine guns at about the same range, actually, to um, yeah get the criticals and uh, help out the rotaries to deal even more damage when the structure is exposed. On top of that, the mech is relatively simple. We have a bit of armor bonuses here and the crit chance receiving bonus of 25%. Um, what is unique about the mech? I mean, you could do something like that on a Nightstar, minus the machine guns, but still. However, this thing here has the ability to run a Mask Mark 4. No, 5, sorry. Uh, it's a 5-ton item that gives the mech a little bit more mobility, a bit more speed, but I actually opted against it because it is 5 tons and 5 slots for not a lot. I'd rather have more base speed. By having a big light engine, the 360 gives me a total speed of 60 kph after skills. So this thing is, I would say, just good enough. You could do something like go 325 here, drop the light pharaoh, and then, I don't know, get the mask in here. Because it doesn't fit in the side torso when you have the rucks there. It's a five slot item, we only have four slots left. So you gotta put it in an arm, which is kind of weird for a mask. At the same time, the arms of a Fafne are really small. Normally you get hit on the side torso um, and people people go for that because this is where the weapons sit usually. So having a mask on the arm is not even that, that exposed. So either, either you lose the side torso with the arm or you just don't lose the arm altogether. So you can actually put it there. However, again, I am not really the biggest fan of that. It will give you a bit of a speed bump, um, but um, again, it's just my personal preference. I wanted the bigger engine uh, because I didn't also want to juggle a mask in this. Let's talk about the skills here. We are going in with lots of range, lots of heat gen, and lots of lots of velocity for our auto cannons. Cooldown doesn't affect rate of fire weapons like machine guns and rotaries, so. Um, this is sadly a thing that will not help us with our DPS, but anyways, we got magazine capacity and the jam uh, ramp down duration bonuses so we can fire more consistently. Also, skeletal density armor hardening for some, you know, survivability, especially on the Big Mac. You need that. You so need that. When you're facing the enemy and try to kill them before they kill you, you better have more sustain than they have and therefore armor hardening and skeletal density. Uh, these are some convenience points for me. Since we don't have the mask and I didn't have any other priorities, I was going for anchor turn and I also wanted to go for a kinetic burst. And since speed tweak was available here, I actually went for it. You could also just drop anchor turn and max out the speed tweak if you really want to. That gives you a speed of uh, reset mech real quick. Uh, 60 point. Wait, that's where we were. That is where we were. 62.7, there we go. So, yeah, but my priority was anchor turn because this thing steals like a truck and it's not good, therefore, a bit of skill helps out a ton. Hill climb for some verticality. I wanted seismic sensor here because I wanted to know if any enemy light mechs are closing in on me. And yeah, we got a bit of radar deprivation. We got one UAV plus double strike today. Uh, there's no need for a cool shot. The build is relatively cold with 14 heat sinks that I have here. Question mark. Exactly. And yeah, that's the Fafne. That's the Juggernaut. That's the legendary. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty guys, first game of the day. We are playing the Termaline Desert. We are playing um, Conquest. Interesting. Alright, so Conquest is usually good for us, I would say, because the enemy team and our team as well are usually a little bit more split. That means that we probably won't face so much direct fire and we can single out enemies instead of having like a full murder ball of 20,000 mechs in front of us that are all shooting us. So it should be good. We can, again, overpower a single enemy. So let's move in. We're gonna probably go to the Theta spot. I think like 
Echo 6 is gonna be the hotspot at some point. So let's move there with the team. And it's actually quite cool that we are running 60 kph on this guy here. It's really nice that we can keep up with the rest of the team's movement. Should we shoot here? So somebody is still at Theta. I could strike it, but I don't feel like it. Yeah, the guy is gonna go. By the way, this star always gets me. Like, this one here. I always think it's like a UAV there. Okay, so we got that. And we're gonna assert dominance over Theta, it seems. It's really, really good. The enemies have Kappa. Nobody is getting our secondary cap. No, we're gonna ignore Sigma, it seems. So we need to make sure that we are winning the fight over Theta. Because that's our secondary that we get. Yeah, strike is coming down. Irby is getting caught in it. That was good, man. That was a real good strike. So, the question is, where to go from here? Should we go in? I cannot doubt it. I want to go, like, left side. Leave the cap for the friends. And we want to... Uh, want to get high ground. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's do it. Come on. Uh, no. Wrong side. All right. We're going to hold this here. Nah, actually... I mean, that's a missile mech. A missile... Missile Night Star. Oh, I'm getting shot in the back. That's interesting. I guess I over-twisted. Brad. Cannot hit him from here. Not like this. Alright. We have more people coming in. Hey, Longbow. What about you, huh? I want to stay on your center and I want to drop Adi. Oh, these guys really want me dead. Oh, no. It's all of them. It's literally all of them. Come here, Locust. Oh, flee. The Flocust. The good old, good old Flocust. I maneuvered myself in a real bad spot. And I don't think we can fight through this. So I gotta disengage as much as it hurts me. And it, it hurts me a lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's go around. The flea is a problem. If he, if he stays there uncontested, he's gonna rip my side torso apart. And that's obviously a thing that we don't want. Uh, they are now switching. They're shifting their weight over here. But we are ready. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's not because we got flankers coming in. Ah, everybody's everywhere and my sight also is not looking great. There's a light mech. There's a fleet, right? You want that? I don't think you would. All right, let's go around again. We need team cohesion. We need cover. The fleet's in my back now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Want to try to find a spot here? Um, I mean, my Adi is taken. Oh, hello, Jenner. Hey, Jenneroni. You don't want to do that. Not this. Actually, armlock would be a great idea, although it's, like, super weird. Okay. So, Jenner is still alive, funnily enough. Okay, we're gonna try to get depth of field. Try to stay a little bit behind. Oh, wait, are you getting shot from here? Oh, the enemies are around us already. Eh. Eh, not good. All right, let's fight them. Hey, Fappy. What's your deal? Face me, bro. Face me. Because I'm facing you and I'm getting destroyed by it. Mr. Krabs, you got my side torso. Can I have yours, please? Alright, we got that guy. <laughs> six and six. Lost a bunch of auto cannons here. Um, kind of ring around the rosy on the Theta spot. But we have still half of our weapons, so yeah, let's let's move. Around here, I hope that the light mechs are gone. Man, if they're coming around now, we got massive problems. But hey, we're on the back of the enemies now. Nightstar is half dead. You are half dead. You are technically dead. Come on. All right, so we got that guy. Seven and six. The Nightstar is killable, but we need team cohesion to get this done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Get that guy. There's a fight over here as well. So as soon as we got the Nightstar, which is now... Um, it's a light mech, no. I wanted to say we can push up, but maybe we don't. What about the rough? Oh god, is the roughneck fresh or not? I need to know. Um, this is a peaking situation. That's a not a good situation for me. Let's... Oh god, they also have the high ground there. I want to get to the bolt. I want to get to the bolt. You want to fight that? I want to try to get that back strike out. They're not watching this, right? No. No, you you got to be fine. Where the, the Roughneck is, is coming around. The Roughneck is coming around. I should help here. Okay. There he is. So, yeah, he's fresh. Double Gauss Bolt. That is a problem. Here we go. Yeah, but he's gonna take me now. Right? 
The Hanshi does not know. Yeah, and this is it. This is where the little guys are coming in to take me. But hey, yeah, it's 744 damage done and 741 taken. It's almost the same number. Can my team bring it to the end? It does not seem like it. It doesn't look like it. At the same time... Whoa. Where are you coming from, buddy? We have a completely fresh awesome here. The 9M, triple ERPPC, triple medium poles. The fight is happening at Theta. They might be able to overpower and surprise these guys. Get the light mech, get the light mech. Yes! Yes, exactly! Come on! You can do it. Right side on the Hunchy. Get the Hunchback first. Yeah, 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 you got the Ultra 20. You got it, you got it, you got it. You got Adi out as well. Oh, the light mech is not in a good spot. Good kill, buddy! Uh-huh. Alright. So, what is the Locust gonna do against our awesome now? Man, what a fight! Do they want Theta? I mean, we have... Mm, we don't have the cap uh, superiority here. So we gotta get that Theta back. And then we gotta force the enemy Locust to grab one of our other points. And I guess it's best if our friend here just sits on the spot just to defend it, because if he moves out now, the light mech might come back and get Theta, and then they flip it back and forth, you know? So, um, I don't think that the Locust is able to absolutely counter cap us. I don't think so. So, let's see. Yeah, this is just the enemy base. Where did he go? I believe he would go to... What is it? Gamma? Sigma? Interesting, man. 11 and 11. Yeah. I had no idea that that's gonna be so damn close. But yeah, we have like... 500 against 500 something we have the upper hand but question is for how long it might be that the locust is avoiding the awesome if so we're gonna make a cut so the light mag has reached epsilon and is trying to flip it um i am not entirely sure if that's gonna be enough it might actually be this is gonna be a nail biter here guys the problem is that we are now forced to make a move and yeah, it's totally gonna be in favor for the enemies here. Um, they just get Epsilon. Now they probably want to try to get back to Theta, because it's the closest one. If they are smart, they're going to Sigma, um, just to make sure that they have it in the back. They are kind of trying to really win the cap game here, while our awesome is trying to hunt down the little guy. What he needs is one good shot on him. There, there is. There is. No, never mind. On your left? On your left! Come on, buddy! Not bad, but also not a hit. Ah, oh, man, this is crazy close. But I really feel like the enemies... Yeah, they have it in the bag now. So now it's kind of... They are kind of surpassing our, our capture speed. Not a good hit there. Like, no hit at all. You need one good alpha on him. Huh? I mean... I mean... Is this gonna be a loss? It's gonna be so damn close! Get him. Ah! Not like this. So, and now, now the point has come yeah. where the enemies are on the same number <laughs> as we are, but they will grow faster than... Oh my god, that's so damn close! Look at this! Look at it! 750 versus 749! Holy crap! I have never had such a close game, I believe. That is no. insane. Didn't do that it. was so damn insane. But yeah, guys, we got two kills out of that. We got 744 damage down, 741 taken. I would say that was a good game, and we are going over to the next one to see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys, second game of the day. We are playing the HPG Manifold. We are playing Domination. Let's get into the circle and have some fun with the enemies here. I mean, we can shoot at about 600 meters. That means that most of the fights within the interior of the of the fortress here, of the moon HPG generator, uh, it will be a, a good fight for us, uh, depending on if the enemies have wall snipers and how they try to avoid us. I don't necessarily want to go to the basement because it sounds like a trap for my big bad juggernaut here. We are we are a big boxy mech, so if we're getting surrounded by three mechs or more, we got a huge problem. Even two mechs are already too much for me. So let's move with the team and see if we can support them a little bit by dropping some extra fire on the enemies. An Evan Jaguar. Okay, nice. Shadowhawk is checking the basement. The Grasshopper is checking the basement. You really want to go down there? Wait, are you getting fired at? Or is that the grasshopper doing a thing? Target. Oh, there's, there's stuff happening already. I love that sound, man. It's so good. It's really good. Okay, so we got a UAV situation. 
How did that happen, huh? So people are like calling for assistance a lot. Incoming. Incoming missile. Let's step aside a little. I don't think that the guy has like full line of sight to me. Okay, so but the enemies are really aggressive with their well, let's go here. Um with their missiling, with their team positioning as well, I believe. It feels like they are pushing hard. So let's go to Mr. Timberwolf here. Target spotted. Um there was a Timby somewhere. Let's dive down. Oh, there he is. There he is. But he's gonna pull back again. He dumped his laser beam on us. Or on a friend. Is he gonna do it again? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to really lose armor early on. There he is. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go for it. I have a stalker in my... Right in my crosshairs here. That was a great trade. That was fantastic. Let's pull back again. Seems like the enemies are kind of... Pushing the right side, Echo 5. There's also Assault Mech stuff happening on the left side. I just want to get an overview here. They got an overview as well. Is that long enough? La 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 la. Okay, we got a UAV with machine guns. Okay, let's go. Let's go around here. Oh, getting shot in the back again. I don't know what's wrong with my with my back exposure all the time. It seems like sometimes I'm over twisting and sometimes I feel like I'm not and still get hit in the back. It's kind of weird. Let's make let's make a push for it. Oh, they got light mechs up top. Uh, we took a lot of damage to the right flank already, which is not good. Come on, friend. What are you? Stupid raven. Uh, then my Orion decided to actually push forward. We lost a lot of good face time here. Like, a lot. We need to get something going, though. Don't like the raven up top. Okay, move around. Yeah, they dropped Adi. Don't pull back, buddy. We have dominance here. We shall use it. Timberwolf is half dead. The flea is a problem. Gonna try to stay on his legs somehow. Okay, let's not over jam our little thingies here. Okay, he lost the leg. That's perfect. I want to get the timber. But I need to make sure that we are fine on this flank. Okay, good enough. Where's Timby? Timby is dead. Good. That was the Timberwolf. Stay on him. He is more afraid of me than I am of him, but he has friends which are not afraid of me because I'm not shooting them right now. Let's keep up the push. There's an Urbi up here. Oh, there's a King Crab. Blah, 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 blah. It's such a funny, funny, funny noise that we are making. We didn't quite get enough of that King Crab to actually have a big impact going, but... Oh, okay. Um, he certainly felt that. He certainly felt that. It's a griffin coming. Uh, if I drop Adi there, I probably deal team damage. I still have another one, so I might as well use it at some point. Okay, move around the right side. Um, there's the flea. Oh, no, wait. Sorry, flea is dead. It's Irby. Supernova in the bottom. That's the guy with the lerms from earlier. Yeah, everybody wants that LRM guy now. I don't think I'm gonna be fast enough. So let's instantly move over to the other side to help out here. Uh, we'll take the top because we can then maneuver from any point here. Is the Locust gonna come up? Uh, he's low. Mm, okay, so two light max. One of them is Irby, one of them is Locust, and everybody wants a piece of the cake. <laughs> Alright, we can do this. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Alright, 10 and 3, everybody is murder balling! <laughs> Look at this team! Oh, the greed! And it's, I mean, I'm in it! I'm totally also part of this. Alright, let's go over here to the right side. Free fire. Leg him. Kill him. No, we couldn't. We couldn't. But hey, that was good. We won. 12 and 3. So, my side also is open, yes, but we still maintained all of our firepower. That was great. So, uh, let's take a look at what we did in the end. I couldn't really go for lots of massive bursts, but we got something done. We got like 773 damage out. I'm perfectly fine with that. Got two KMDDs. No kill here, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, we destroyed three components. Guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.